Hi, I'm Natalie Slipko reporting live from HSBC Arena, home of the Buffalo Bandits. And I'm here with the assistant coach of the Buffalo Bandits, Rich Kilgore. Thanks for joining me today. Oh yeah, no problem. So you actually used to play on the Buffalo Bandits team for how many years? 18 years I was a player. That's fantastic. And you were the longest tenured captain on the team. Yeah, I was captain, I believe, for 12 years. That's amazing. Now, I know I grew up in Western New York, and I don't recall there being a lacrosse team, but it has absolutely surged in popularity. Why do you think that is? Um, I think just the people really appreciate that we're just normal guys. A lot of guys have nine to five jobs, and mm -hmm. you know, we're just the, uh, you know, they used to call us the weekend warriors, and <laughs> I think people really appreciate that. You know what I mean? We come out and give an honest effort, and uh, I have Buffalo's, you know, a blue collar town, and they really appreciate that we go out there and, you know, bust our hump for really no money and have a lot of fun doing it. So it Absolutely. Was a, yeah, it was a great, great fit. So now what drew you to lacrosse? I mean, what is your fascination with the sport? I'm actually Native American. I grew up on the Tuscarora Reservation, and I actually grew up about 100 yards away from a lacrosse factory. And my mother strung sticks when I was younger, and so, I mean, I, from an early age, had a lacrosse stick, and went to Canada and played over there for like since I was five years old and just played lacrosse you know I, I've actually played lacrosse for you know 35 years now so it's it's been a great run and you know it's it's uh, it's a sport I love and I wouldn't have it any other way so basically you were born with a stick in your hand yeah yeah really, <laughs> so to speak <laughs> yeah it actually really was and you know it was great growing up with Darius and I had someone all my age to play with in the backyard and you know, everything just led up to, and then, you know, like you said, it wasn't even a dream back then to uh, be a bandit because there was no bandits when we were kids. So, to, you know. Oh, I'm be, sure you were a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> now, speaking of your brother, I mean, did you have any idols growing up? Uh, yeah, there was a lot of guys around our reservation that were really good, oh, excuse me, really good lacrosse players. And, uh, you know, Emmett Print up Jimmy Bissell, these are guys I knew growing up that were really, uh, you know, a couple of these groups ahead of me. and. You know, they were really good, and I got to play with them a lot when I was younger. And, you know, those were the guys that really got me going and thinking I could go to, you know, to the next level. So it was just great childhood growing up on the res and being right next to a lacrosse factory. And, you know, it's, you know, it's funny to say, but it really kind of was destined for me to it was play meant some to lacrosse. Be. Yeah. Now, speaking of your brother, Darius. Yes. So you are basically coaching right beside him. He's the head coach, and you're the assistant coach. Is there any sibling rivalry that might be going on there, or do you guys work well together? No, at this point in our lives, we work well together. Uh, I mean, if we tried this when we were 15, 16, there would you know, be fist fights on the bench. So it was, uh, you know, we were normal brothers. We were close in age, and, uh, you know, there was a lot of wrestling matches when we were younger. And uh, it, was, it was funny looking back now that we fought that much when we were younger, because right now we work together at Smoking Joe's, we coach together on the bandits, so we spend a lot of time together. and. It's really funny how, you know, here we are, you know, 40 years old and <laughs> we're kind of like best friends and it's, it's, it's great, you know, to be able to share that with someone that close in your life. It's, and you bring that energy right to the bandits. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, Darius is more the fiery one. I'm kind of the, let's keep it calm and cool. And I think it's a good mix. So I, I like working with them. Now tomorrow's a big night in more ways than one. First off, we're going to clinch first place, right? Yeah, knock on You're going wood. to be playing Boston, so what is your strategy going into tomorrow night's game? Just to keep playing the way we've been playing. The uh, you know, last seven, eight games, I think we're five and one, six and one, so you know, we've been playing pretty well here and just keep that confidence up, trust each other, and uh, stick to the game plan because it's been working out pretty well here in the last seven, eight games. And like I said, we want to get it done. You know, we only need one win in our last two games here. But let's get it done and over with and clinch the East and uh, move on from there. Amen to that. <laughs> now, Mr. Kilgore, you have a special night tomorrow night. In fact, I feel like I'm almost standing next to royalty, so to speak. <laughs> you will be retiring your number, number 16, tomorrow night. What is going through your mind at this point? Just unbelievable honor, unbelievable that it's happening to me. And like I said, just unbelievable is the word I, is the only word I can think of because as I mentioned earlier, you know, there was no bandits when I was a kid. There was no professional lacrosse. There was none of that to even dream about. So now here I am 20 years later after starting my career. And believe me, this was not what I was thinking when I started. And, you know, to have that type of honor with the names that are up in those rafters, unbelievable. <laughs> well, and you've had some pretty impressive stats. I mean, four championships, uh, 317 career points. I mean, that's not too shabby. 
No, I did all right <laughs> up there. I mean, it was you know, it was it was a great run, and you know, to hear those numbers added up and all that, it, you know, it's great. And uh, you know, my teammate John Tavares says, you know, numbers are for when you're done, and I'm done now, and it's pretty cool to have my jersey going up there. And but like I said earlier, it, it wasn't what I had planned in the beginning. It was just I love playing lacrosse. And I hope that came, you know, I think it came across out on the floor there, how much I loved it. Oh, I'm sure it did. And what do you think about those Buffalo fans? Don't they get you pumped for each game? Um, I, you know, I can't wait for tomorrow to go out there and, uh, you know, have this honor put on me and uh, to see all the crazy orange wigs. And, uh, <laughs> and, I, I think I might have left my orange wig at home. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't worry. So there's people who have spares for you. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's unbelievable what our fans do and the jerseys and, you know, I mean, Darius laugh all the time on the bench. We've seen Teletubbies, Darth Vader, uh, you know, the Dumb and Dumber Tux is out there. <laughs> it's just, our, and yet somehow they all seem appropriate <laughs> for the night. And I mean, our fans are the best. And like you said, it was an absolute honor to play for them for 18 years. Well, that's fantastic. And I definitely look forward to seeing you and the rest of the Buffalo Bandits squash Boston tomorrow night because they need to clinch first place. And I predict... They definitely will. <laughs> well, that's a plan. I'll see what we can do.